Hey everybody, Michelle Hoff here, your Norex Independent Sales Consultant. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to get on today and I wanted to talk to you about what's called our Safe Haven 5 set. And this Safe Haven 5 set is a package that Norex put together that with just these five products, you will be able to clean 95% of your home with just these and water. So that means no more cleaning products as far as you think of like tub and tile cleaner, um, your all-purpose cleaner, your glass cleaners, all those stuff that we use that we spend so much money on, you won't have to buy those anymore. So you just would clean with these five products. So what I wanna to do today is I wanna go through what each of these are. I'm gonna do a couple demos for you and explain to you pretty much how Norwex works because once you understand how Norwex works, the rest of, um, the rest of all of Norwex makes sense. Actually, I should say once you understand how the Enviro works, the rest of Norwex makes sense. So I'm gonna open up this box. I'm gonna show you what's in it. All right, so inside this box we have First is our Enviro cloth. This is like the all-purpose, the E for everything cloth. Then we have our window cloth, our dusting mitt, our cleaning paste, we call this elbow grease in a jar, and our laundry detergent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to you about each of these five products, and I have them out over here open, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of them. All right, before we get started though, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about the Enviro cloth. I'm gonna spend some time on this, because once you understand how this works, all of Norwex makes sense. So our Norwex, is made, uh, our Norwex microfiber is actually designed in a very specific way. In order for something to be considered microfiber in the United States, it has to be one sixth of a human hair. So that means if you take one hair on your head and you give yourself six split ends, ends that's how fine the microfiber is in it would be considered microfiber in the United States. But Norwex says that's not good enough. Norwex says we want one two hundredths of a human hair. So again, you take your hair and you give yourself 200 split ends, that's how fine our microfiber is. So why is that important, right? Well, it's important for two reasons. One, because of its, fine, fine, because of its fineness, it actually is allowed to pick up so much more on a surface to remove that bacteria. But the second thing that makes it really important is how it's woven together. So each of those tiny little microfibers are woven together in a star-like pattern. So when you use it on a surface, so we always tell people you want to use it flat. I tell people fold it in a square and you want to use it flat because you don't want any air pockets in the middle there that won't come across the surface. So you're going to take it on any surface and you're just going to wipe it across its surface flat. And what that star-like pattern does is it picks up all of the bacteria that's on there. 99% of the bacteria that's on that surface, it traps it in there and it won't let it go. So it actually holds on to it. So you won't transfer. If you use this on your toilet and you then go to use it on your sink, whatever you picked up off your toilet won't transfer onto your sink. Now I tell people... I'm just not there yet. <laughs> I have a graphite COVID one that I use specifically for my toilets. I know in my head that it won't transfer, but there's just something about the toilet that makes me whatever. So, but again, you can use this on your floor to then your counters to all that because nothing of that bacteria that you've trapped in there is going to let it go. All right, so that's what's amazing about our microfiber size and its woven pattern. But now let's talk about how much microfibers in this one cloth. If you were to unravel this cloth, microfiber strand by microfiber strand, it would stretch from Manitoba, Canada, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. That's how much microfiber is made up in here. So not only the weave of it, but the quantity of it creates this tough cloth that's going to, again, pick up all of that. So I want to show you one more thing before I go into some more details, and that's our tag. So all of our cloths are labeled. So if you take a look here, you're going to see that this is the Enviro cloth. And when I show you the window cloth, I'll do it well, now while I'm up here, you're going to see that it's going to say window on there. And you're also going to see these words. You're going to see backlock above the word Norwax. You're going to see that term backlock. And I'm going to talk about that right now because with the microfiber, when you go to use your microfiber, and again, we know it's not going to transfer from one surface to the next. It's trapped in there. What happens then is when you're done using your microfiber, you want to get rid of all that stuff that you just picked up, right? So what you're going to do at the end is after you've done this, so like you can literally, your whole house, I always tell people, you're going to use this has eight working sides, right? So you're going to take this flat and you're going to use it. You can use this side and again, just get it wet once. You can use this side and do a whole bunch of stuff. Then you flip it around. You have side number two. Then you flip it this way. You have side number three and then side number four. And then you turn it, you know, right side in or inside out, whichever way you want to call it. And now you have working side five, six seven and eight, all right? 
So you have eight working sizes. So you're taking this cloth and you're going everywhere and now you're done, right? Like you've cleaned a whole bunch of stuff, you're ready to go. Then what you're gonna do, and this is where the back lock comes into play, because you're gonna take this cloth and you're gonna wanna rinse out all that nonsense that's in there. So you're gonna get under hot water, because what hot water is gonna do, it's gonna open up those fibers and you're gonna do what we call a power wash. You are going to press, agitate, and rinse, okay? So you're gonna, under that hot water, take corner to corner of your cloth, press, agitate, and rinse. And I tell people you do it on the one side, you take the corners, you flip it, you do the other side, do the corners, and then you flip it around and do the, that next side, okay? So that is what you're gonna do. You're gonna press, agitate, and rub, and you're gonna get rid of all that nonsense you just picked up. Then you're gonna wring it really well. So I tell people you're gonna fold it in half, fold it in half again, fold it against itself and give it one heck of a good ring. And then, this is where the back lock comes into play, you're gonna take that cloth by its tag and you're gonna hang it to dry. Now, while it's hanging to dry, that back lock is gonna go to work, all right? So let's talk about that back lock, what is it? Back lock is liquid silver that's woven into each of the microfibers in our cloth. So not only does what makes Norwex different from any other microfiber out there is our size, right? One two hundredths and our weave pattern. But the fact that there's liquid silver woven into each of those fibers makes it super unique. What it, and so what does the liquid silver do? Why even have it? While, that, while the cloth is drying, and again, you don't want it bunched up, you want the air to hit it. When the air hits it and you're hanging it to dry, your cloth is going to self-purify. So how does that work? What is backlock? Why does it self-purify? So backlock is our liquid silver, again, woven into those microfibers. And what liquid silver is, is a natural antimicrobial. So if you know like the medical field, like people who are burn victims or have open wounds, they use silver in there to make sure that, that those wounds and those burns don't get infected with bacteria. So the reason why is silver is a natural antimicrobial. Bacteria cannot form on the surface of silver. So if you know how you get that stinky cloth smell from your kitchen washcloths or your towels or anything, and you gotta throw them in the dryer or you gotta throw them in the laundry room for you know after a couple days of using them, that's bacteria buildup. With the microfiber or with the Norwex, with the with liquid silver woven into our microfiber, you don't have that problem. Okay? So I always tell people, silver, and people are like, oh, I didn't know that about silver, right? But I'm sure you've heard of the phrase, someone who was born with a silver spoon in their mouth. And the reason why that phrase came about is because back in the day, and when plagues and diseases and everything were abounding, rich people only fed their families off of pure silver silverware, literally made out of pure silver, because bacteria couldn't form on those surfaces, so they knew it was safe to feed their families off of them. So that's where the term silver spoon came from, because it meant you were rich, and that's where it came from. They knew that it could not form the bacteria. All right, so that's what that's how our Enviro cloth works. And again, you want to make sure that when you use this, you use it wet, and it will clean 99% of the bacteria off any surface with just this cloth and water. And you can use this one cloth throughout all areas of your home. All right. Now, which leads me to my second thing of the Enviro cloth and the window cloth is the second product you get in your Safe Haven Five set. And whereas this will, you're gonna clean 95% of your home with just this cloth and water. When you go to clean your windows, your mirrors, your stainless steel, or any kind of glass, you're still gonna use the Enviro cloth and you're gonna clean it wet with this. But then you're gonna get his little friend or her little friend, the window cloth to come along and dry it after. So we call these peanut butter and jelly, Burton and Ernie, hand and glove, and the husband and wife team, right? So these two, this is with your hard working washing window or Enviro cloth. And then this is your drying cloth. We call those like the prissy one. This is the one that gives it the streak free, lint free shine when you're done washing it. And I'm gonna demo that for you right now. All right, here I have a mirror, okay? And with this mirror, I'm gonna take this little stick of butter. So this is just regular butter. So think about it, a lot more greasier than your kid's fingerprints, your kid's tongues all over your sliding glass door, your pet prints, you know, the little art that our pets give us. And think about it, you're only using water in these claws, so no chemicals on there. So when your kids might be licking your sliding glass door or your pets, you're not giving them all the chemicals that they're ingesting that you may have used to clean your windows with. So it added bonus, right? All right. And actually, we'll talk about that in, in a second as I, as I go into this. I'm going to use this butter, and I'm going to write the word, or the phrase maybe, I don't know, 84K. 
So this is 84,000, so 84,000, and I'm gonna rub this all over the mirror here. Okay, so that's pretty stuck on there. Okay, so 84,000 chemicals, the reason why I have that in here is because there's been 84,000 chemicals that have been introduced into our world in the past 50 years. That's a lot. Of those 84,000, only 200 of them have actually been tested to see if they're actually appropriate to use for human consumption to be around us. Of those 200, only nine have been banned in the United States, and most countries are, have banned all of them. So I tell people all the time, my grandmother died of lung cancer. Now, she never was around smoke a day in her life. She never smoked a day in her life, but she kept an immaculately clean home. Oh, she also didn't even have radon in her home. When she had lung cancer, the doctor traced it back to the fact that all the chemicals that she was using to clean her home. Now, they also just came out with a study that said that just bathroom cleaners alone by using your bath, traditional bathroom cleaner, it is equivalent to the damage it's doing to your lungs for smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. Guys, the traditional cleaning that we use, that we've done, is literally killing us. And it's disgusting. This is what made my mission to sell Norbex even stronger because, well, I'm going to put this in the square. Um, I started selling Norbex just because I realized it cut my cleaning time down by 75%. Like, literally, I could come home in my work clothes and clean my master bath and my downstairs bath in 10 minutes. I could never do that before. It was, a, it was a weekend chore of cleaning my house. So I'm like, everybody needs to know about this because they need to save time cleaning. And it was then that I started learning about the toxic chemicals. And I'm like, this makes my mission even stronger. Okay, I think I've given a little bit of time to have that butter kind of dry on there really well. So think about it. Normally, you would take a glass cleaner and paper towel after paper towel after paper towel. Not only wasting money in your paper towels, but also the environment. There's over 300 tons of tape paper towel waste every day in the United States. So it's crazy. But plus, you're constantly having, you're spending a lot more time doing it than if you were to with this. All right, so I already have my Enviro cloth wet. I'm already using it flat because I've folded into that nice square. And all I'm going to do is I am just going to wipe, all right? So I'm going to wipe this clean, but you can see how it's a little blurry, right? Like, because it's still wet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to give it that streak-free, lint-free shine by taking our nice window cloth and drying it. So again, you wash with the Enviro, you dry with the window, and look at that, all gone. Let me see if I live up there, or is that a reflection? I don't know. There we go, I must have missed that with my fingers there. So look at that, beautiful, lint-free, streak-free shine, and it's going to stay cleaner longer for you because the chemicals that are in our traditional cleaning products actually attract dust and grime. So you're not gonna clean as much and have to clean as often. Okay, so again, window cloth, in, um, it dries, the EnviroCloth we use first to wash and clean, and then when you're doing glass, stainless steel, or your mirrors, you're gonna dry it with the window cloth. All right, now let's talk about the dusting mitt, all right? Now where's mine? Here's my dusting mitt. So with the dusting mitt, what you're gonna do is, I should say actually this, I was not a duster. My daughter was the duster in the house, right? She was the one who would dust everything, and then she went away to college, and I'm like, ooh, guess we're not gonna dust anymore, right? Because it's the, what's the point? You dust, it falls to the ground, you vacuum, it goes back up. Like, what's the point, right? Well, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you with our dusting mitt, we actually pick up the dust, all right? So we attract the dust and we pick it up. So let's talk about how that works. It works on a static charge. So you're gonna take your dusting mitt and you're gonna give it a static charge. I always, when I'm dusting, I have two of them in my hands because it helps me go quicker. So I just rub them together and give it the static charge. You can rub it against itself. We have a rubber brush that's the bomb. I wish I brought it down. I usually use that to statically charge it because after I'm done, I take the rubber brush and I just go into the garbage and I brush all my stuff off. You don't need it. You can use your hand or the, um, you go outside and you can beat it against the house. But the rubber brush is awesome, especially if you have pets, it gets the hair off of everything. So we have that. All right, so in order to show you how this works, I'm going to use pepper because let's face it, um, you can't really see dust on a camera. So I have my pepper here and I have this white plate and I'm just gonna put the pepper down on the plate. I'm gonna angle this so you can see it. Can you guys see that? Let me see, what's the best way of doing this? There we go. That's probably the best, right? You can see that, there we go. So now I'm gonna take this and you're gonna watch. I'm just gonna put my hand down and I'm just gonna wipe. You're seeing that I'm not like, brushing it over to like throw the dust somewhere on my table or the pepper somewhere on my table. I'm just picking it up. Look at that. And look at that. Even with me holding it upside down, you don't see anything falling off and you see all the pepper still stuck on there, right? Done. That's how it works with dust. It picks it up. Then like when I'm done, I'm going to take this into the garbage and I'm just going to, well, here, let me show you here. 
I'm gonna wipe it like this or take my rubber brush and do that. And there we go, pepper's back on. So that's off the dusting mitt and into my garbage. All right, that is the dusting mitt. It is the bomb. It has saved, I have, um, I have like dust mite allergies, so it has saved me tremendously because I'm actually dusting, so I'm getting rid of the dust because do you have any idea how much is, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna get into it. There's a lot of nonsense in the dust bunnies. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the cleaning paste. Before I talk to you about the cleaning paste, I'm gonna show you this though. This is a piece of tile. So this is like what you have in your home. Like think about it, you know, like putting up a fireplace, doing your floors, whatever. And I usually, when I start a party, I pass this around a party and I tell people, write down anything you don't like cleaning. What's the worst thing that you have to clean in your house? So I'm gonna write down the word everything because I hate cleaning. I hate cleaning immensely. When I told my husband I was going to uh, be selling cleaning products, he laughed. He laughed so hard. He's like, you don't clean. I'm like, exactly. That's why I need to sell this because everyone needs to use this stuff. So I have the word everything written down in a permanent marker. So permanent marker, the word everything is written down. And I'm going to let it sit here and dry up a little bit before I show you this. All right. In your Safe Haven 5 set, you will get the cleaning paste, which we call a miracle worker, elbow grease in a jar. And I'm going to open this up because I want to show you. It'll come very, very hard. So if you see that, you can hear me. I can like knock on it. Right, so it's gonna come in a hard, you are the one that makes a paste out of it by using like your Enviro cloth or a Spiri net or one of our other products, you're gonna get those wet and make the paste out of it. And the thing is with our cleaning paste, it's made up of three main ingredients, marble flour, coconut oil, and a free and clear soap. It's actually one of our only products that has a scent to it. It's got a nice clean scent to it um, from the free and clear soap and the coconut oil that's in it. But the thing is with this, you want to make sure you don't use it on, and I'm always gonna read this because I wanna make sure I get it right, but I know it's brushed stainless steel, nickel, pewter, aluminum, or wood. You don't want to use it on those. And when you use it on a natural stone, like granite, quartz, or marble, you do want to just test in an inconspicuous area first. And the only reason for all of that is because of the marble flower in there, you don't want to end up scratching anything. But other than that, I've used this on the whites of my shoes. The best thing I use it for is cleaning my stove. I take my spirit net with this and I can clean my stove like that. And trust me, it is, I should say my oven. My oven clean like that, I never, the difference. But I do do my stove top. I've melted a bag, actually, a tortilla bag on my stove top before and had to use it on my stove top. But inside my oven, I clean everything. It is incredible. Um, what was I gonna say about the clean? Oh, so you can use this on anything. A crayon, marker on your walls and wherever. All that nonsense. It is, it is anything you can think of, you can use this on. So what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you mine and I've used this one for over a year and I still have this much left in it and I'm using this all the time and I'm doing demos all the time. So this will last you a very, very, very long time. All right. So remember my wet, wet and viral, it's already wet. I've even cleaned up the butter with it. No big deal. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to dip it in the cleaning paste. Okay. So now I have a little bit of the cleaning paste on here and then we have the word everything that's written in permanent marker on our tile and I'm just going to wipe clean. Done, done. So if you have any little artists in your home, this will save their pants a number of times when you're like, oh my gosh, what did you do, right? Incredible, that's the cleaning paste. Now, a couple things real quick as I pull out the laundry detergent. If you want to see, I have tons of videos of the cleaning paste. I have tons of, I'm cleaning the oven with it. I have all sorts of things. If you want to see, I have videos on, oh my gosh, the best video ever is the Enviro cloth versus the disinfecting wipe. If you haven't seen that, comment below. I will put that video in there. The other one is the Enviro cloth cleaning raw chicken. And then we test it with a protein swab. If you haven't seen that, let me know. I will send that to you as well. Because those two videos were the ones that I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this actually works and I need this, okay? So let me know those because I will send those to you also. Okay, now, Norwex laundry detergent. This is the bomb. You're gonna use this laundry detergent for all of your laundry, not just your Norwex. But I am gonna tell you how to wash your Norwex and keep it safe and clean. But with the Norwex laundry detergent, you will use just one teaspoon of this laundry detergent for a large load. So this is gonna last you forever. One bag lasts us in our house about nine months. You can't say that for any other laundry. And we do a lot of laundry. So if you have an HE washer, one teaspoon. If you have a non-HE washer, it's one tablespoon. Either way, you're going to get the scoop. The scoop is right here. You're gonna take it and you're gonna throw it away. Because we're an international company, that same scoop is used for countries all over the world that don't have the water like we have. We only need one teaspoon. So throw the scoop away and that's all that you need, all right? 
But I wanna talk about this because not only does this make your whites whiter, your brights brighter, but it even leaves my clothes lasting longer. Like you know what like clothes start to pill and things like that? I don't find that I get that so much of a factor on my clothes anymore. So I don't have them worn as much. It's so much safer. And I want to talk about why. So in each of our packages, let's see if I get this really close. You'll see they are biodegradable surfactants. We have no phosphates, no sulfates, the SLSs, the SESs, no chlorine or bleach, bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, and we do not test on animals, nor do we have dyes and fragrances, which was the one thing I had to get used to. I had to learn that with my Norwex smell, I did that I just had to get rid of things or get used to things not smelling anymore. So I then learned smell equals chemical. That's it. Smell equals chemical. Smell does not equal clean. Smell equals chemicals. So once I kind of got that in my head, I'm like, gosh, that's so true. And I was like, totally fine. But your clothes do come out smelling fresh. It's hard to explain. It's not like they have a scent to them, but they smell clean, which is amazing because... For a little amount that you use, and trust me, you only want to use a little. Otherwise, you're going to clog your fibers because it's this is just a little goes a long way. Don't be like me for the first time I got it. I'm like, oh, I just must use more. No, your, your fibers are going to clog. You're not going to want to do that. Okay, so with this, though, I always tell people that when you're doing all of your laundry, you only need that little bit. And if it's under a large load, you want to even use less. All right, so now let's talk about washing your Norwex because when you wash your Norwex you want to use the free and clear soap from Norwex not only is it going to save your um, claws for the silver and I'm going to talk about that in a second but it's also not toxic so a lot of people you can use a free and clear soap when washing your Norwex um, like another brand um, which you can do it's not like you can't and I'll talk about why it has to be free and clear in a second the only problem is there's still not many free and clear brands out there, especially none on the, the supermarket shelves, that don't have the toxic chemicals. And the most toxicity, the, well, most, the room that has the most toxicity in it is our laundry room. Detergent, fabric softeners, and dryer balls are all highly toxic. And it only takes 26 seconds for anything that was on your skin to absorb into your bloodstream. So it's really, we really want to make sure that we're treating our clothes well because they sit right on our skin. All right, so... Why a free and clear soap, whether it's Norwex or another free and clear soap, is remember we talked about the silver, that liquid silver that's woven into the fibers that self-purifies as it dries? If you have non-free and clear soap, it has additives and fillers in there. And what those do is they leave a coating all along that silver and it makes the backlog completely useless. Because now bacteria can att attach to those fillers and the additives and that bacteria will grow on there. It'll never get a chance to touch the silver that, that inhibits the bacteria growth. All right, so let's talk about how to take care of your Norwex. We really do want you to use the Norwex laundry detergent because, again, not only is it free and clear, but it's safe for your, it's not going to um, ruin the life expectancy of them by using those toxic chemicals, and it's safer for our bodies. So you want to use that Norwex free and clear soap. You want to wash it on hot. The same reason when you do the power wash, it opens up those fibers to start releasing the nonsense. So you want to make sure you wash it on hot water. You want it in a lint-free load, meaning don't put it in with your other terry cloth towels or flannel sheets or anything like that. You can do like those nylon-y workout clothes or regular sheets or jeans. And I think it doesn't have a ton of lint because if you wash it with linty stuff, remember that star-like pattern we talked about with those fibers that are woven together? What happens with the lint is you're going to get the little pieces of lint stuck into those fibers. So when you go to use it flat across the surface, it's not going to be able to pick everything up because you're going to get little lint balls stuck in there, okay? So Norwex laundry detergent, hot water, free and clear soap, no fabric softener or dryer sheets. Guys, they're toxic. They're going to leave the coating. You don't want to use that. Instead, what I do, two things. One, the fifth thing I always tell people, you want to put a little bit of vinegar in like your fabric softener dispenser in your washer. Just add some vinegar because it's a natural antimicrobial and water softener. But the other thing I use, and Norwex sells these, these are our wool dryer balls. So they come in a pack of three. You just stick them right in your dryer. You unload your dryer, you stick them right back in. They sit there. They're gonna get linty, pilly, all sorts of stuff. They're gonna get all, they're, but they're gonna look gross. They're not, they don't really look gross, they just look worn. Doesn't matter, you just keep using them. And not only do these get rid of the static and um, the wrinkles and everything, but they cut your drying time down significantly. I actually cut my try, drying time down by 25 minutes when I switched to the dryer balls. So if you find that you're using them and you're still finding static, 
Keep cutting that drying time down. I'm telling you, are drying it way too long. That is the number one cause of static. And if you're like me, who is in Buffalo, where the in the winter time we have our heat on, so everything's super dry, and even you're cutting your drying time down, all you do is just take a little bit of aluminum foil and throw it in there as well, and it attracts the static away from them also. Okay, I think that's it. I think I talked about everything with the Safe Haven 5 set. So that's it. So that is, again, you get your laundry detergent, you get your cleaning paste, which is your Miracle Worker, your um, elbow grease in a jar, you get that dusting mitt, and the window cloth and the Enviro cloth. All of these are your Safe Haven 5. With just these five products, you can clean 95% of your home with just these and water. Think about how much that does for you. All right, if you have any questions, anything, you wanna see those other videos, like the cleaning paste, I even have before and after slideshow pictures I can send to you. Um, you wanna see that raw chicken demo, the disinfecting wipes versus the Enviro cloth, comment below and I'll get that to you. All right guys, have a good one.